In CDC Road M Network, this video explained about the first C, which is colorless, and discussed about the operational benefits it provides. What is colorless road means? In interview, sometime this question asked, and I believe you answered correctly, as wavelength can be recolored any time. That's correct. But if you add more details, with its operational benefits, that would be impressive. So same we'll discuss here. Before colorless, let's first discuss, why we need colorless. And what's the limitations of previous RODEMs, that would help to relate colorless benefits. Original RODEM technology, dedicated a separate port for each wavelength. Usually RODEMs allocated the, optical C-band, and now L-band also into 96 distinct channels, each carrying a different wavelength. We refer to these wavelengths as colors. So in this example, now red wavelength is running. If service provider, rearranges wavelengths, and changes the wavelength of the transponder signal, that need operations efforts. To understand that, let's focus on connectivity between, transponder, and multiplexer. You might see these kind of ports label, on some of multiplexer, these ports defined, the wavelength or frequency, it's supported. These are dedicated ports, where the transponder is connected. For easy understanding, we'll take example, this multiplexer has same colored ports like red, green, yellow and so on. Initially it requires clear instructions, during installation to, avoid misconnections, and assumes as built records are up to date, and correct. Transponder, transmitting a red wavelength, must be connected to the RODEM's, red port. Now if need to rearrange to, blue, need to change the, transponder frequency, and multiplexer port connectivity. For that need, proper planning, site access coordination, as well as drive time, to visit two sites, both ends of the circuit need engineer, to set the transponder frequency, and change the fiber connectivity. This was, time consuming, and operation cost involved. To avoid, the physical intervention for any, configuration change, first enhancement, done on transponder, transponders, equipped with, full band, tunable lasers. With this service providers, could remotely reconfigure, the transponder wavelength, via software. There was, no longer a need to physically, change the optics. This was a, great convenience. But once the wavelength changed, the transponder was no longer connected, to the correct road and port, and traffic was blocked, because of the one-to-one, -one, port or color mapping, the service provider, still had to send, a technician on site, to physically reconnect, the fiber cable to the correct port, in order to restore signal flow, still need more enhancement, towards complete, automation. Now in, colorless roads, having the, convenience, and flexibility of, colorless ports, it's eliminate the, one-to-one -one mapping between the, physical port and, the wavelength color. Ports can almost view, as a, chameleon, and port, no longer has a, specific color. It can assume, any color it is requested to. With this colorless functionality, any transponder wavelength, can be connected to, any road and port, and the wavelength, can be recolored anytime. This is now a, much easier, quicker, and, more cost-effective operation, which resulting in, significant improvements as, simplified installation, any wavelength, to any port, elimination of, installation errors, and possible downtime, elimination of, site visits by, field technicians, instantaneous, and remote reconfiguration, enables, network automation, this feature is one of the, fundamental building blocks, for automating the network, reducing operational expenses, reducing downtime, and ultimately increasing, customer satisfaction.